Good morning, kids. It's Dad. It's early Friday morning. <clears throat> Had, we'll call it the day after pink eye. Um, Becky is home with the little shavers this morning. So I'm in, on my way to the office. <clears throat> Great morning where I got to have breakfast with uh, some great friends as we always have every other Friday which means it's Kid Friday which of course we just love love having uh, Kid Friday so this morning yesterday we got probably an honest four inches of snow which in all honesty isn't uh, so bad but you know you you clear the uh, the driveway you do the end of the street you clear the driveway there comes Mr. Snow snow plow down College Avenue actually you'll see Mr. Snow plow two by two down College Avenue which is fine you know you got to clear the roads I got that um, but it's just so frustrating because you know then they don't just then they get then you get plowed in by what the plows bring you so you'll end up clearing it and you're wheeling it back to the house and then they go gotta clear it out holy cow so I wake up this morning thinking I'm in good shape uh, think again all kinds of ice and snow at the bottom there holy Toledo uh, took me a good 30 40 minutes digging out of that mess um, which is uh, no fun. Which leads me <clears throat> to my... And then I don't have a lot of beefs in life. And I certainly don't complain. But my uh, current uh, complaint is... Um, right over here. My current complaint is I got a orange tag from the city of... Appleton. Did I tell you to go see Avatar in 3D yet? Did I tell you that? By any chance, did anyone say that? Go see it. Okay. <clears throat> orange tag. So orange tag told me that my sidewalk had snow and ice on it. Yeah. It has some snow. It's snowy outside. It's supposed to have snow and ice on it. That they're going to charge me $75 to clean it. If I don't do something about it. $75 to clean it. I'm thinking to myself, am I held to a double standard? Because if I walk out to like Douglas Street there's snow and ice on the street you don't clear the street to the same standard you're trying to ask me to to holding me to so that kind of got me all <clears throat> all wound up so clearly uh, I'm taking this out on every snowplow driver that, that drive by and, and buries me um, so I think the best thing about someday moving to a neighborhood is yes I'll have to snow blow but I won't have to snow blow every time the snow plow goes by um, because they'll you're gonna snow blow once or twice and that'll be the end of it you don't have to worry about the because <clears throat> the plows are gonna go down the street once maybe twice and that'll be the end of that um, but great day kid weekend a lot going on <clears throat> Madeline has her pep band tonight which is kind of fun and tomorrow she's going to Chicago with a youth group to go to the temple which I think is fantastic and uh, me just going to be a quiet weekend with, with my kids, I love that probably some shopping, trip to Aldi's trip to Walmart, who knows but I love you guys very much and I will check in when I'm on to pick you up from school. I can't wait to pick you up from school. It's been a long time since I've done that. I will talk to you later. Bye. People killed him, and she had like this big story. Like one of the killers asked her if she believed in God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and yeah that's right. Him. That's yeah. right. That's right. Okay, cats, it's dead. We're got a load full of kids. We're dead. You have to tell them, you have to tell this. This is actually a mount. It's actually a um, suction cup to the window, so all you viewers don't have to be worried. You don't have it's to be worried. It's in the winter on icy roads, so you don't have to be worried. You know what? You're way. This is way old news. I've had this for like two weeks. There, brainiac.
Yeah, and you, got, you got it the week after we left. Yep. I've had it for about two weeks. I've actually right. gotten like three emails from the guy in China making sure that I got it so that I didn't leave negative feedback and I had to email him back twice saying, dude, I've already left positive feedback. I love it. I'm in love with this thing. How can you not? So Tommy's new favorite song is? I am the tiger from Survivor. Okay, that's Tommy's new favorite favorite song. So, man, what do you have going on tonight? I have pet band. Pet band tonight. And Clara and Tommy and Clara and I have nothing band. Oh, Emma has to play flute. So we're excited. Emma has to play flute. Clara has to play flute. So we're excited for a, a fun uh, weekend. Uh, I love you, kids. Oh, you're right here. I can tell you I love you. I don't have to love tell you. you. I have to tell you in the video. I love you, Tommy. Love you. Love you. Love you, Clara. Love you. But I think I love Madeline the most. Is that okay? No, she he, she loves me most. No, he I really. I think I love Tommy the most. She yeah, that's right. She loves me. Or maybe I love. She Cla loves me. I love Clara the most because she's the middle one. And no, you're supposed to. She here loves you loud. I think I love you all equally. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get any battles. Maybe people can post in the comments which kid I should love the most. Yeah, do it. Is that what it is? Is that our competition? Which kid do you love the most competition? And we'll tell you the votes next time we're at Dad's house. And the kids get that gets the lowest vote we can sacrifice? Yeah, and you can vote up to one time per day. Oh, I don't know. One just, time per day. No, I said they've just flooded the bell box. Okay. So we'll see how however, smart they are. However many times you want. Just vote. Which kid's my favorite? Madeline, Clara, or Tommy? I love Survivor! Okay, and Tommy. And song, I Have the Tiger. This He's not America! Actually, I think Survivor's from Canada. I don't know why I heard that. Maybe that's true. Okay, cats. I'm out. We will talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Bye. You vote the tally.